Hello, boys and girls. This is your old friend, RJ City, and I'm back with another unboxing. The last unboxing I did, the response was overwhelming. Of course, that was me unboxing things that Matt Cardona got me. It was a selection, a menagerie of wrestling merchandise and trinkets and action figures and things of that nature. And when we had a good time, and I love wrestling figures, as I know, but if there's anything I love more than wrestling figures, as you all know about me, it's uh, board games. Love them. Can't get enough. And I was gifted this wonderful board game by another true board game aficionado. A young man named Nug. He was sweet enough to get it for me, and I'm very touched by it. It's hot off the presses. It's incredibly rare. It's incredibly fresh, and I'm excited to share the unboxing with you. It is, of course, Tony Randall's Word Quest. There it is. There it is there. And there's the famous Tony Randall catchphrase, words, yours to discover. And that wonderful, handsome picture of Tony. And I've always said this about Tony Randall. His whole career, big fan of his, never made enough board games. So here we go. The challenging definitive word game cont contains 12,000 words and definitions. 12,000, ages 12 to adult, which is not specifically defined. I don't know what the voting age was when they made this in 1984 was it 16 was it 18 what's an adult was is it an adult is when tony randall decides you've fully finished puberty let me get a look at a hair on your legs oh uh, i think you're finished anyway here's what it looks like on the back it says uh, oh an entertaining thought-provoking educational word game for the whole family everybody ma pop your uncle tony three levels of difficulty multiple choice with player challenge very interesting and for two or more players and of course this is word quest usa incorporated at 7155 westbury boulevard west bloomfield michigan and the the zip code is 48322 if you had any questions and wanted to contact them directly here we go let us unbox tony randall's word quest this is exciting Ooh, that's an odd <laughs> that's an odd creaky sound for a box to make well that is why it's in such pristine condition maybe it's never been opened before of course this box is gold plated as you can tell and oh this is the this is the original edition can we see that there there we go word quest and there's again tony's famous catchphrase words Yours to discover. And he only seemed to have taken one picture for this entire game because it's used pretty much everywhere. And on the back, there's this little um, signature thank you card. And it says, thanks for purchasing WordQuest. I know it will be fun and educational. And it's signed, of course, this isn't uh, the full... You know what? Maybe he did sign these. I'm gonna, I would like to think that he did sign each one of these individually. That tastes like ink to me and there again is the picture of tony that we're all the now iconic picture of tony reynolds World Quest. and then it says watch for word quest jr available in 1989 for ages 8 to 16 which tells me that tony would define an adult as older than 16. 17 you're in betwixt and between and depending on how many words you know then i would consider you either adult or perhaps still a child albeit an older one Nevertheless, let me see the hair on your legs. Let's, that was a wonderful uh, thing here. These are the instructions, which I will get to in a second. But let's get to the board, huh? Look at this masterpiece. Look at how this unfolds. It's gorgeous. This thing is a real work of art. I love how they kind of basically ripped off the font and design of Trivial Pursuit. Great colors. Of course, Tony's favorite color was uh, pur purple, as we all know. That's for the super word. Different quest there, and I guess you put this hexagonal, uh, or is it an octagon? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a hex. I'm correct. You put that. Oh, here are the game pieces, right? There's a some die, and then these little pieces. He didn't want to uh, mess around. Of course, all of these are specifically hand designed by Tony. You can see how beautiful they are. And then here's this. And once you're done with the game, these cards. 
you can remove these and it makes a great dip tray. If you were maybe making a guacamole or a nacho cheese kind of thing, you have the friends over, you're playing word quest, you're done, you take the cards out, you put a little bean dip in here and you're ready to go. So let's get to the instructions because I know you're all wondering how exactly do we play Tony Randall's word quest? Original edition. Well, let's find out and let me read the directions in Tony Randall's voice. I think that's how he would have wanted it. The three levels of word used in WordQuest were selected from A to M in the, con the concise Oxford Dictionary. N to Z was selected from the new Webster Encyclopedia Dictionary. And that, I think, is very bold of Tony Randall to not just go to one dictionary as the ultimate source. He went to uh, Oxford and the new Webster, and that's very bold. He was a very, he was a real wordsmith, and he wanted to share his joy of linguistics with the world world. I, now I can't say the word. We're talking about words. Many word cards have a lead in notation in brackets under the word to be defined. They are to be read before each of the three meetings. What? Okay. Okay. Basis of the game. Each team is given one word with three meanings, one of which is correct. Many words in the English language have multiple meanings. The meaning given as the correct answer is the one chosen from the two dictionaries used. The alternative meanings were derived from the imagination of the creator and are not definitively correct. Well, now this is interesting. So it's almost like a multiple choice where one answer is correct and the other two are incorrect. That's the kind of innovation that people think of when they hear the name Tony Randall. Game supplies, one playing board, one pair of dice, eight player pieces, ho one holding tray, 60 novice awards cards, 60 intermediate award cards, 60 master award cards, 120 challenge cards, a thousand word cards, 36 board cards, which correspond with the board spaces. Okay. Rules of uh, number of teams, number of teams, number of teams, two to four teams with two to three persons as partners. Combining their board cards and word knowledge. If played as individuals, substitute player wherever team is indicated throughout the rules. So if it's just you and, and a friend, you are a solo team. This is innovation. Ending the game. When only one team has a challenge or award cards remaining, alternatively, a fixed period of play may be established. So you can just say we're going to play for eight hours. Winning the game. To accumulate the highest total of award and challenge cards by defining or challenging words correctly. Uh, okay. So that's pretty much... That's pretty much it. So you answer the words... Oh, okay. So, so you would, you would look at the... Okay, for example. Pull out a card here. Okay. And... Oh, okay, multiple choice. So the word is abominable. Is it either the definition of abominable? Is it either A, spectacular, B, filthy, or C, loathsome? And then you would pick which definition you think is the correct one for abominable. And, and if another player thinks you're wrong, they'll challenge it. They'll throw down the challenge and I'll think you're wrong. It's a little like double dare for like extra points or an extra shot at the dice, I guess. And abominable is uh, C, Lowson, it says it here on the back. Okay, let's let's do another one. This is a blast. Okay, this is great. This is exciting. Okay, you ready? Ready? We're gonna have fun. Tritely. Is it A, stately, another word I don't know, B, rigidly, uh, okay, or C, pointedly? Make your guesses now. Uh, the answer is A, stately. Good, good. So I learned that that is the definition of tritely. So if I'm at a cocktail party and somebody says, does anyone know the definition of the word tritely? I'll say, oh, it means stately. And they'll go, ah, thank you. Let's do another one. That was a blast. That was so much fun. Let's pull another random card here. Uh, Gomorrah. Gomorrah. Is it A, a city of the unfaithful? B, a wicked town, or C, a person breaching a trust? Pick your answer now. Okay, and the answer is A, uh, sorry, no, B, a wicked town. It was written uh, weird here. I couldn't really see the cards aren't written that well. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Um, hege hegemonic, okay? 
Is it A, a one spouse partnership? We're in a hegemonic relationship. B, supreme? Or C, a believer in polygamy? As we all know, Tony Randall was a swinger. So he would like to put a little innuendo and subtext into a lot of these definitions. They're all about wife swapping and things of that nature. Uh, the answer is B, supreme. That's, that's great. And there's over 12,000 possible definitions to get through. Well, that was Tony Randall's word quest. And I want to thank Nug for this gift. I am so moved. And most of all, I want to thank Tony and his ever famous catchphrase, words yours to discover. Guests of the RJ City Show, subscribe to his channel, follow him on social media, and buy his t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com slash RJ City.